resolution for force. Now we don't do that. Now the president says, Lord UN, what do I do? You attack. Yes, sir. Boom. Launch the attack. Boom. I mean, world government is here. The World Trade Organization has all the power now over our trade. Congress just signed it away. The Congress is just a bunch of crooks, by and large, collecting big payoffs in their wives and husbands and children, you know, get half million dollar a year salaries at the defense contractors, you know, that they sit on the committees for to get them the money. I mean, it's just wall to wall corruption, bankrupting everything because that's towards the end game to make the money while they're bankrupting us. Then once they bankrupt us, they hold us hostage and say, we're going to raise your taxes. You're going to live under austerity. It's for the earth. Everything goes to us now. And then they use the bankruptcy as a way to bring the country into receivership, just like Germany at the end of World War I through the Versailles Treaty. Stephen in North Carolina, you're on the air. Good afternoon, Alex. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick statement, and uh, then I had a question for you, if that'd be all right. Yes. Uh, I just want to say... Anyone that supports this uh, military action in Libya has got to be out of their mind because if they think if one day we should finally get up the nerve to stand up against our federal government, do they think the U.N. is going to come in and back us up to overthrow them? Absolutely not. That was my statement. And I was just wondering, uh, worst case scenario, the uh, nuclear power plant in uh, Japan is to melt down and it completely, you know, all, all hands off the deck, it's over. Yeah, it's already so worse than happen? Chernobyl. If you count the five of them that have at least partially melted down, now at least two of the cores open leaking, it's already past Chernobyl. But, yes, they could continue to have even bigger meltdowns, and it could get even worse. Go ahead. Uh, well, what do you think the, the, the end game would it be over here in America? What do you think the government is going to do with all the radiation and everything else coming this way? Are they going to continue to whitewash it, or are they going to eventually admit yes you know it's no the they're telling us eat seafood out of the pacific they're saying yeah some radiation detectors are showing higher levels all over the u.s even europe so what it's not bad for you and a lot of people are saying well this is a globalist plan they might have blown up you know the first reactor or something uh no it was the tsunami and earthquake folks as a way to shut down nuclear power, just like they want to shut down coal. No, the globalists are clearly signifying, and they're big fake environmentalist groups, that they want to shut down coal, because that's not controlled by the big oil companies, they're owned by the big banks, and that they're going to go ahead with more nuclear reactors, uh, not less. Uh, and so I just see them whitewashing the whole thing, and it's just like the 300-plus th above ground 500 plus with all countries involved, but 300 plus with the U.S. alone above ground nuclear tests. So what if cancer rates go up? So what if fertility goes down? Remember, the globalist mine phosphate for fertilizer production out of limestone deposits that have different radioactive isotopes in it. It's where they also mine for uranium and they put that in your water and call it sodium fluoride. So remember when I had Dr. Busby on and he said, Many of my colleagues, of course, he's a uh, top chemical physicist, top radiation expert and its effects. He said, yes, many of my colleagues actually believe this is on purpose because the sperm count has dropped by 87 percent in fertility. Uh, radioactive isotopes are key to reducing fertility. Uh, I just don't know, but it doesn't matter. The fact is fertility in every region where nuclear power is used and where nuclear systems are, are a fissile material, is purified, fertility is dropping regardless. It is destroying the human species. Then you have a eugenicist like Mombiot running around saying more reactors, build them everywhere. Oh, I love it. A fluoride in the water, you know. This is what they want. And so you can't get around the fact, and you heard me right, folks, all over the U.S., they put radioactive isotopes in your water in the cocktail of 150 to 300 plus, depending on what company they buy it from, chemicals uh, in your water. Amongst them, different radioactive isotopes. And I showed the mainstream news articles again. They just calmly go, yeah, the government covered up radiation in your water at high levels. They don't say why they covered it up, and no one asks, why is it there? It's just, it's there, and it's not going to stop. We're just letting you know now. And yes, yeah, cell phones give you brain cancer, but aren't they fun? Go ahead and give them to your kids. Does that answer your question, my friend? Uh, yes, it does. And so in the grand scheme of things, it just plays into world depopulation and eugenics. Absolutely. It plays into the fact that the globalists have a spirit of death and destruction, 
like their father, and this is what they do. I mean, you can you can ascribe to it whatever reason you think they're doing it, but they're doing it. No one can d deny debate that these people, until 1991, wouldn't let troops use DU. Now they use it everywhere. It ignites when they fire it out the end of the barrel. The troops are getting deadly dosages of it that will reduce their lifespan by decades every time they fire a DU round, and they don't care. What does that tell you about the New World Order? Okay, what does that tell you? If you suffer from poor sleep, you need my pillow. Guaranteed to be the most comfortable pillow you will ever own. Using a patented fill, my pillow adjusts to your exact individual needs by gently supporting your head, shoulders, and neck. My pillow has a natural built-in cooling effect, keeping your cervical nerves cool, giving you the best sleep of your life. My pillow will never go flat and relieve snoring, migraines, sleep apnea, fibromyalgia, and many other disorders. It's antimicrobial, non-allergenic, dust mite resistant, and best of all, machine washable and dryable. My pillow is made in the USA, has an A rating with the Better Business Bureau, comes with a 60-day money back guarantee and an industry-leading 10-year warranty. Order today at mypillow.com or call 952-442-6199. That's 952-442-6199. Mention coupon code GCN and receive 20% off your order. What do you have to lose except poor sleep? mypillow.com, the most comfortable pillow you will ever own, guaranteed. They help to create a new world order. We are part of a new world order. A new world order based upon collective action. Invisible Empire is a damning indictment of the globalists through their own words and documents. The new world order really is a tool for addressing a new world of possibilities. It means all the world under their control. The United Nations would take over America. The Trilateral Commission would control the world. Invisible Empire chronicles how men of power and influence have worked in stealth for centuries to establish an oppressive world government. I believe, first of all, that we now need nothing short of a world constitution for the global financial system. Global governance with the establishment of the G20. So it's going to be an inner ruling elite and then everyone else. And I got news for you. You're everyone else. Invisible Empire. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com or watch it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv Hi, I'm Mark Craighead, founder of Crossbreed Holsters. I designed our top-selling holster, the Super Tuck Deluxe, to solve the problems of being poked, pinched, and gouged while carrying concealed. The Super Tuck Deluxe is the most comfortable, most concealable holster on the market today. We offer a two-week free trial and a lifetime warranty. Visit us at CrossbreedHolsters.com. Don't forget... CrossbreedHolsters.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Daddy, I'm hungry. That little girl will get fed, for now. But what if people like Glenn Beck are right about the threats we face? If the U.S. dollar loses its status as the global reserve currency, prices on the things you need most will skyrocket. Food may be unaffordable, or worse, unavailable. Earthquakes, economic turmoil, continuing unemployment, rampant inflation, and even threats of terrorism are all reasons to let the experts at Ready Reserve Foods help you with a long-term food storage plan. Ready Reserve Foods has been a premier supplier of long-term storage foods for 37 years. Their unique process assures the highest quality long-term food storage available worldwide. Their product have a shelf life of 25 years and a year's supply of quality food for two people only takes up about as much space as a refrigerator for a fraction of what you now pay at the grocery store. You owe it to your family to find out more from Ready Reserve Foods. Call today for their free full color catalog at 1-800-453-2202. That's 1-800-453-2202. Okay, 
back live. Let's go right to your phone calls. Harry in Michigan, you're on the air, sir. Thank you for holding. Yeah, Alex. Yes, sir. Are you there? Hey, uh, it's great to talk to you again, man, and thank you for all the work you're doing, and uh, God bless you, and keep up the good work. And my first uh, deal is that I have been a long time listening to you, probably 16 years. Thank you. you. I heard you in Katy, Texas, about 16, 17 years ago. And I and and you opened my eyes been open since about 1980 when I was taught that the uh, that the, uh, the Trilateral Commission and the United Nations were a bunch of scum sucking bottom feeders. And uh, I have been a pipe fitter. I'm working on nuclear plants since about 1971 on the Walden. And uh, people in this country do not know the severity of what has happened over there in Japan. And, and what's going on in this country is just making me sick. Now, now they've set the precedent to have five reactors on fire, exploding, 600,000 spent fuel rods, open reactors with live uranium, plutonium, and off-gassing, blowing to the U.S. And our media is like, hey, this isn't bad for you. In fact, it's good for you. Well, yeah, and they're saying colder. I mean, this woman needs to be hung. I mean, what a lying piece of... Scum she is, and all these globalist scum are, are, are this, this is a slow kill. And I see this coming across the United States and around the world, and all, all I see is a slow kill down the road. And you know, the more people you try to wake up to this, I, luckily I woke up three people so far this month to what's going on with this. Oh, yeah, that's world. the exciting thing, and we got to make lemonade out of lemons is that people are ready to wake up now. We've got the truth. We've got the facts. The globalists don't admissions. A lot of people, tens of millions of people in the U.S. alone, remember myself and many others telling them the truth for decades. Now they see it all coming true. Our credibility continues to rise. Exactly. And, and uh, this, when Lindsey Williams, who was on your show last time, talking about the, uh, the, the day of the rage, I went in and told people right after that happened, and when it did happen on the 11th, and all this stuff went down, the nuclear job going down, and this whitewashing of what's going on over in the east, I mean, people come up to me and said, you know, how did you know this? And I said, well, you've got to be informed. You, you people have got to wake up. Your sheep, listen to Alex Jones' show, InfoWars, Prison Planet. You well, know? by the way, Harry... By, and it's spreading the word is key now because folks are, again, finally ready to be awakened because the facts are now in their face, not over the next hill. We haven't even pointed out, and I got an email about this last night. It makes a lot of sense. I mean, I don't want to say this was an inside job, but maybe 11s are unlucky. You had the 7-7 attack. You had the 311 attack in uh, Madrid. Uh, we've had all these other 11 attacks, 9-11. You, you notice it was 311 11, 3 11, 11, when this Japanese earthquake tsunami happened. I tell you, uh, folks, that is really strange, isn't it? Yes, it is, Alex. And, and it, it all falls back to these globalist belief in their religion uh, and the numerology involved in this. There's well, I remember a lady calling me last year on air when I saw this email. I remember the call. She goes, Alex, you've got to listen to me. 3 11, 11, they're going to hit. You know, you know, there's going to be earthquakes. And I'm like, okay, thank you, ma'am. I guess she must have been psychic or something. Or uh, I mean, I don't get into things that we can't prove, but that is a little weird, isn't it? Yeah, it most certainly is. And, you know, I, I'm beginning to believe that there's, uh, that they, they do work in, in this number system, 9-11, and, uh, you know, uh, their belief system, it's definitely a Luciferian belief system that they're in. And, uh, you know, this has got to stop. The American people have got to make a stand. they got to draw that line in the sand. Like Travis said, we got to stand up and fight these people. And it's my passion for years of being laughed at and scorned that this day was going to happen. Absolutely. It. Harry, it's beautiful that you were listening in Texas. Must have been 98.9. 16, 17, 16 and a half years ago. And imagine the tens of millions of others. I've done thousands of radio interviews, hundreds and hundreds of TV interviews, internationally and nationally. I have, you know, we've put out thousands and thousands of stories, 25 plus films, thousands of videos. Think about that woodpecker effect of just doing it over and over and over again. And all those 